it's extraordinarily humbling and um, uh, I mean it's it's kind of beautiful in a way that as creators we get to do something that's um, true to our hearts and then other people pick up on that same sort of passion. We're taking all these risks with the game and making a more complicated game, a more nuanced story than we've ever done before and it's something we really wanted to play but we had no idea what the public, how they would react to it. And of course it was really, really exciting for us to see that people didn't just buy into it but they were really excited about the world and the story and the themes and the subtext that we were putting into it. Really, people just got got the game 100%. You know, as, a, as an artist, as a creator, you want to, you want people to love your work. You, know, you want to cause some emotional reactions. So uh, it just kind of leads us and encourages us to keep going in the directions that inspire us. The Last of Us American Dreams, the graphic novel we released through Dark Horse, co-created by Faith Aaron Hicks, the co-writer and uh, amazing artist on the, that comic book. And it introduces the character of Riley. And in it, we get to see kind of Ellie coming out of her shell and she starts taking on these attributes from Riley, but it's just, it's the first day they meet. And it became really interesting to us to say, okay, months later, after these two have become best friends, and they've had this falling out, where does that relationship go? In discussing ideas, it's like, what if we got to play through that kind of relationship? What if we saw that relationship? And it gives us an opportunity to test out various mechanics and storytelling ideas that maybe we couldn't test on the scale of the full game, but doing it in a smaller time frame allows us to try out these ideas and say, okay, that's interesting, how did that work? The comic book was kind of a great way to see a little bit of what Ellie and Riley's relationship was. So when we set out to design the world, we already had a point of reference that there had already been some great work done just in terms of some of the visuals and, and some of the language between Riley and Ellie. I think we had a sound story pretty early on that we felt was compelling enough to, to okay, that justifies us moving forward with the idea of single player DLC. Now you have a team of some burnt out, frazzled people that you're trying to say like, okay guys, let's go again. Can we do it again? And that's a lot. That's a lot to ask of anybody after three and a half years of grind.
、トリオバスも 0.1 番。トリオはトリオバスも0で呼んだ0で呼んだ。Day one. <laughs> oh, okay. アニプレイのストーリーが行こう。ボギーだけです。